Howdy, AP Freakout. We are continuing the 113, 114 notes with the geometric models. Go watch that other video. Um, we're jumping in here with a fish tank. And so um, I would draw something just so I can see what I'm looking at. Um, okay, so they tell us the width is W. The height is twice the width. So the height is 2W. The length is twice the height. So 2W times 2 is going to be 4W. So to find the volume, I just need to multiply length times width times height. So volume in terms of the width is equal to 4W times W times 2W, which is equal to 8W cubed. The height of the fish tank can be no more than 24 inches. Um, so the height is 2W, so W can be no more than 12. Um, so what's a reasonable domain? Um, a domain could go somewhere from 0 to 12 for the W value, maybe a little bit bigger um, if you wanted to see the whole thing. And then if I plugged this in, my um, 8 times 12 cubed, I get something like this for the range. So it doesn't make sense to have a, a, a fish tank with an area of, or a volume of 0, but that's, I don't know why I put the comma, I have extra commas. Anyway, there you go. Something like that. Okay, the next one, let's use our calculator to um, help us find using the, the regression to make a prediction. This calculator stuff will be um, really helpful for you. Um, I'm going to begin by coming in my Casio to statistics. Um, oh, good, I already have it in there from earlier. Okay, so I've typed those in. I can go graph, and it's already set to show me these. Um, and now I've got a few choices and a few things that I want to show you. Um, actually, before I do that, let me come back to um, my graph. Um, oh, they're all, they are cleared out. That's good. Okay. Menu, statistics, graph. It's hard to tell what exactly is happening. So um, I'm going to calculate. I'm going to guess. Well, it doesn't look linear. It doesn't look um, quadratic. It might be cubic. So let's try that one. And so the way that we know is the closer this r squared value is to 1, the better off we are. Um, let me show you what we can do. We can copy this into y1, and then I can have it um, draw those points. So you can kind of see there's a few things that are off that graph. Um, I can come back and, um, well, I can do this cubic regression again. Here's the a value, so it's this. Um, so if you scroll down, you can see that it's ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Um, and this is about 0.978. So I could write all these down. I don't know that it's worth my time, um, but I copied it into Y1. So now I'm going to look back at this again. I'm going to calculate. I'm going to think, okay, well, maybe it's quartic. I don't know. Um, and so now it's giving me new values here. Um, and this one is um, a sign. This is scientific notation. So we'd have to move the decimal three places. Um, but I'm going to copy this into y2 so I can compare the two. Um, when we look at this value, I think that's a tiny bit better. It's not one. It's not perfect, but it's a little bit better. Um, and I can draw this. And you can see there's still a few points that don't quite hit, but, but so it goes. Um, now, here's the cool part. OK, so it says, use your calculator to find a regression equation. And I wrote them out. I think I let f of x be my cubic, and I let g of x be my quartic. And then <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to my graph, and they're not turned on. So I have to select this one and turn that on. OK, so there it graphed it for me. I meant to come back and select this one also. And it's going to draw both of them. So here's the first one, and here comes the second one. And they are very similar. Um, <coughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe the red one is a tiny bit better, but I, um, I think that you can kind of answer that question however you want. Um, so they wanted us to use that model to predict where it will be at seven seconds. So this is where I would do G solve. I would come over to YCal. And uh, I think this one, it's using the cubic equation first. And so I'm going to plug in seven. And from the cubic equation, <coughs> I get that you're about 2.7902 um, feet high. If I, I can also come back. Oh, I can do G solve, come over, do the Y cal. Um, this time, I don't want to do that equation. I want to do the red one. So do you see, you can kind of tell that it's the red one that's highlighted. Anyway, it's a little confusing. They're not usually that close to each other. 
but if I plug in 7 here, I get a similar answer, but not the same. Um, so something, I what I would be looking for for a mu is, um, well, usually the R squared value on that previous screen isn't so close to each other. Um, so one is an obvious better answer than the other. Um, but since they're so close, I would just want to know that you, what number you got based on did you use the cubic or the quartic. Um, so yeah, there we go. And then we could plot these points, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> um, and when I do, it looks... like that. Okay, that's cool. All right, go practice.